Hi scholars, welcome to this week's art video. This week we are going to be talking about the element of art, texture. Can you say texture? Texture. Texture is the way something feels or its surface quality, the quality of its surface. So the first thing I want you to do is feel what you're sitting on. It might be the ground like Miss Armstrong, or you might be sitting in a chair. The ground that I'm sitting on is very scratchy. I'm sitting on a really rough carpet. There's a carpet in front. Ooh, the carpet in front of me is soft, but the carpet I'm sitting on is very rough and I would even say kind of scratchy. Maybe you're sitting on a wooden chair that might be smooth or hard, or maybe you're sitting on the couch, which is soft. Um, wherever you're sitting, there is a texture. It's the way something feels. We are going to talk about actual texture today. Texture is the way something feels. There is another kind of texture that you might know about called visual texture. That's the way something looks. It says visual texture is the way a surface or an object looks like it would feel if it could be touched in real life. So these textures we'll talk about next week. We are going to talk about actual texture today. So the first thing I did is I went outside and went on a little texture scavenger hunt. Go ahead and watch the videos and see what I found. This is Lizzie. She's very soft. This is Lizzie's doghouse. The top of Lizzie's doghouse is really rough. Can you hear that? There's a tree and the bark is very rough and scratchy. It's very scratchy. It almost hurts to touch. The leaves on this tree are very smooth. It almost feels like they have little like it has little hairs on it. It's very soft and smooth. The leaves on this plant feel very different from the leaves on the tree. They're very rough and scratchy. They might look smooth, but they're very scratchy. You can hear the scratchiness. The petals on this flower are very, very soft. Very velvety and soft. There's some water droplets on there too. The brick underneath this turtle looks very rough, but it actually feels very smooth. You can barely hear my finger touching it. The stuff inside the concrete here in between the bricks is rough, but the brick itself is very smooth. Here, I have a cactus, two cacti, and they're very spiky. Ouch, ouch. Probably shouldn't touch them. I found this blanket over here. It's very furry. It looks like it would feel soft, but it actually feels more hairy and furry. Over here, I have some pumpkins. They are very smooth. I found a lot of textures outside. If you also wanted to find textures outside, just make sure that you have a grown up with you. Don't go alone. Um, and you can do the same thing. There are also, if you wanted to just go on a little texture hunt around your home, you can look around. There is tons of texture to be found inside the home and outside. Uh, some of the things I found in my home that had some interesting textures, and you're gonna wanna find some actual things because we are going to do what's called a texture rubbing. Why don't I show you what that is first so you know why we're gathering things. What you'll need is just a piece of computer paper, thin paper, and crayons and the objects you find. And what a texture rubbing is, is you're gonna take the crayon, I'm gonna take the back of the crayon so I don't ruin the top, and we're just gonna rub the crayon on the textures that we find to see if we can make a texture rubbing. This one is so cool, I can't wait to show you up close. So I did a rubbing on this object and I got that texture. So texture rubbings are super cool, I can't wait to do them. Whoops, my shake sign fell down. You want to make sure that anything you grab, so for example, I grabbed this basket and I had to take a ton of stuff out of it. Make sure you check with a grown-up that it's okay that you take the items that you take. So I found this basket. I'm going to do a texture rubbing there. I also found this plate. You can see it has this kind of, I don't even know what to call it, but you can even hear that texture um, and I can feel the texture, so I can't wait to try that one out. 
There is some texture, kind of like a flowery texture on this paper towel holder that I have. So I'm gonna try that one. I can't wait, that's gonna be really cool. And then my coffee holder has um, just some straight lines texture. So we'll see what that looks like. The other thing I did was while I was outside, I found some leaves on the ground that, um, they have some really cool lines. I don't know if they're too thin. We'll see if it works. Might work, it might not. Um, that's the cool part, we get to figure it out. So first, what I want you to do is go ahead and see if you can find maybe four or five textures, things that you want to do some texture rubbings on. Again, please get permission to do this because if you accidentally get some crayon on there, I wanna be sure that it's okay. You're not gonna ruin something that's very, very important. So get some permission before you grab your items. Once you have your items, you're gonna need paper. Thin computer paper is fine. You're gonna need crayons and your items. That is it. Meet me at the next video to get started.